What up, though? What up, though? What up? How y'all be? Y'all already know who you rocking with, where you at, man. Peace to the 5% Nation of guys of Earth. Shout out to my beloved Justice Ayla. What's going on, everybody? We back. We back with it. We back with it. I seen some capping, man. A little bit of cap, you know what I'm saying? And a couple shots been thrown, but it ain't nothing. You feel me? Small thing to a giant, man. You feel me? You freaking deal me what's good. All right, let's rock with it. Fuck. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I love it. Hey, what's going on? What you need? What you need? What you need from me right now? Um, let me something like, can you say like, like, th yo, uh, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with, oh, no, I'm tapped in with up for the big TV. Just something like, like, like that. Nothing big. You okay, know? Gotcha. Whatever, I'm just asking you what you want me to say. It's Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man. Yes, sir. Debate TV. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not that's 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 easy, and it's true. Go ahead, let's go. All right, go ahead. Whenever you're ready. All right. All right, all right. Yo, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man. Up for debate TV all day. I fuck with him. Yes, sir. I appreciate you for that one. Yeah. We good? Yes, sir. All day, all day love. All right, Detroit. Just hit me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him, bitch. I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at three o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. And yeah, they know I'm bound to and I put that on I move. And when I saw Tawana start crying, shit, I cried too Cause then I knew it was real, that was your boo And I ain't fuck with them other niggas, but they cried too I wore black like a whole 30 days I slept in niggas' bushes, I fed niggas' caves Ask Satan for the power and the rage to kill the right nigga Shot up a couple houses, a couple twice, nigga Supposed to been at your wedding, but you threw some rice, nigga But now nah, it's snake eyes, like I threw some dice, nigga I lost you, how the fuck I'm supposed to take this shit Without a real target, how I'm supposed to take this hit now everybody get lit it's a green light i sent a couple cowards to you blood take they after life god i hope i killed you nigga and if i didn't know it still do nigga yeah you took my right hand man you took my nigga five now everybody had a problem with these homicides bitch i don't care if you did it or not you gotta die i know my nigga he with me he riding from the side now i'ma let this man hit you and rip through your bone tissue bitch and if you still breathing no i'm still Get you, nigga. And I ain't going, he trying to set me up and he don't think a nigga know it Animosity show it through his words, how he spoke it Steady asking where I'm at, he trying to send him hit a smoking Bitch nigga, I hit niggas for that same motherfucker When niggas needed a friend, I treated them like a brother When niggas was on your ass, bitch I had your back covered Then the envy kicked in, jealous coward motherfucker This loyalty over envy, L.O.E. to my death though. Watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know, we all saw it. You say I'm fake, that's your opinion, that's just you all story. Just face the fact that I'm y'all blessing. Y'all ignored me, man. What's good, man? How y'all be? How y'all be? We're going to get right into this, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to play with y'all. We ain't going to cap. I've been MIA for a minute, and I've just been seeing a plethora of guys talk crazy, man. But none more so. Anyway, that's for a different time. What up, man? Anybody seen that shorty pop doc? The truth is, what up, though? I appreciate you popping out. Rasheen Rose, what up with you? How you be? I'm pretty sure somebody in the house has seen that shorty pop doc. Wherein a man calling himself MT. Says, fuck me and my channel. So, you know, I look at the video. I'm like, wow, man, this video two weeks old. I ain't been online for like two months. You know what I'm saying? They must be asking. 
they must be asking for my attention. <laughs> you feel me? They must be asking for, for my attention, man. A, Nick, a, a man calling himself MT who don't even have the guts to show his face. Now, I understand what a phone interview is. I got a couple of them on my channel. But the individuals that I did the interview with at least afforded me a picture of themselves so my audience would know who I was talking to and who we were talking about in what regards to what. You feel me now? If you look at that video published two weeks ago, you don't see the dude that's speaking, neither one of them. Ask yourself why. That was puzzling to me. A few things that were said stood out. You know, it was a wonderful story about halfway through. The first 15 minutes was a wonderful story. You know what I'm saying? Which is all I can call it because it's unverified. It's supposedly his experiences. But you got to be careful when you're telling these untold stories because I caught him even giving third-hand information in his little 30-minute set. Second, third, fourth, who knows what hand information. But it wasn't eyewitness account like him saying that he'd seen Shorty Pop with uh, 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 excrement all over himself because his mother smashed his face. Now, he said he saw that. He came to their home and this and that and the other. But if you go a little further in that video, you'll catch him giving second, third-hand information. Now, I, I said that to say this. When you do that, you take the air of credibility away from yourself because you take us... We may believe your eyewitness account of you saying this and that, the other happened and this and that, but then once you switch it over and say, he told me, or what's his name said, this and that, the other, Blase Spleen, he just this and that, the other. Well, now it might seem like you yeasting up your story as Poe would say. Whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know I, I couldn't let that ride. That had to be my first video back, man. I got a big, big interview coming out of D.C. tomorrow. Y'all need to pop out. The queen exposes the real. You don't want to hear what she got to say in regards to Al Poe Rich, uh, uh, Eddie Mathis, Tony Lewis Sr. Uh, 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 man, the list goes on, man. Nut. Uh, uh, the Black Wells. She got a wealth of knowledge and she coming through tomorrow, man, at 8.30. So make sure you pop out with me then as well. You feel me? I want to know what stood out to y'all. Y'all all right? I want to know what stood out to y'all in that doc. You know what I'm saying? What stood out to y'all? Anybody? Man, Ruth, what up, though? Sonny Black say, yeah, watch it this morning. Okay, okay. Keep it tall. He say, sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what's all the fuss about, homie? Because we don't even know you. You feel me, MT? If you get a chance to watch this, you ain't the other nigga. We don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? why would you be talking about F us and F that and this and that and the other? They don't know what they talking about. I made no reference to the Blake story as of yet. But I am. And I know it's Cap. I know you DC niggas, not all of y'all, don't get me twisted. You niggas hate Poe. And you niggas gonna do whatever you can to throw smut on his name, to put whatever you can where it belongs. See, and I'm gonna say that to say this. For anybody that disagrees, cool. But Shorty Pop was labeled a member of the Alpo, of the Alpo Martinez organization, the Martinez organization, the same way he was labeled a member of the Junkyard Band. So that means whatever he did from the point folks la labeled him a member of this such and such, such and such, it fell under their organization. You dig what I'm talking about? He told a wonderful story, and he would like for you to believe it, but I know people that know different and that say different, and that's not to say that he's a liar. I'm just going to say y'all was misinformed, just like the whole shorty pop killed Demencio thing. Y'all was misinformed. And a lot of you guys know it because a few people hit me up on the sideline like, yo, you seen this, you seen that? That's what made me pay attention. You know what I mean? What stood out to me was when he said Shorty Pop allegedly was going 
to kill Poe, that scene capped to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you why. That's a good eye, Mr. Sonny Black. And I'm going to tell you why, God. Listen. Right at that point when he said they was about to do that, he was going to do that, uh, uh, Shorty Pop was going to rob this nigga and this and that and the other, he said Alpo cut into him about Wayne Perry. Cap. Alpo didn't go seeking out Wayne Perry. Alpo did not meet Shorty Pop on the terms of, I need to see if he knows Wayne Perry. That's Cap. That lets you know he done watched a lot of videos and siphoned together a story of his own because he has a personal relationship with Pop that's undisputed. Y'all see how that works? Do you see how that works? I have a personal relationship with Pope, unlike a lot of others, right? It's not very big, but it's not very small either, pertaining to the information that I've obtained. It's not even, it's not very, very, very far-fetched for people to believe something that I say in regards to Poe if I say that me and Poe had that conversation. The same as this man, MT, is on that channel saying that Shorty Pop confessed to everything he ever did in a jail cell in prison. Man, cut it out. Winning trading war stories. He said he spent the night in Shorty Pop's cell. Pause. Pause. Pause, because he also said that him and Shorty Pop was hugged up together and people were scared of him because they thought that Shorty Pop was going to do something to them if they talked to him. Pause, pause, pause. Why would people say that you hugged up with Shorty Pop and be afraid to speak to you or else Shorty Pop would do something to you? And then you spent the night in his cell empty. You got a lot of explaining to do. And you wouldn't stand in front of a dude like me and do it. And I know you wouldn't. That's cool. That's why we're going to break you down right here because you did say F me. Right? You said F me. Pause. 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 That shit just seems funny. It just seems funny, man. But people don't view stuff the way I do until I spew. You don't view things the way I do until I spew it. You feel me? That's cool. That's cool. What's wrong with him, Sonny Black? What's wrong with him? Yeah, I saw I saw it a few about the junkyard band cat crazy. He put Poe on the wing. That's up in the joint now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just seen it a little earlier, man. You feel me? I watched it twice in a row, and I took some notes into what stood out to me, mainly the end part, because I don't have nothing to say about his personal dealings and experiences of, of him and, 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 and Shorty Pop uh, coming to their crib and this and that and the other. But, but the one thing that did stood, I'm getting ahead of myself. Him, the dude MP is soft. He's soft, dog. Straight up and down. Fast forward to the end of that documentary. After he say all that wonderful stuff about Shorty Pop, Sheldon Watkins, and how it was true love. And, and, and they begged their grandmother to adopt him. And they took him in to, to take him away from this and that and the other. And he was like a brother to them and went everywhere. And he even took care of them. He would go do things and come back and this. But then they didn't go to the funeral because they didn't want people to know they was associated with him. That's salt. What? 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 Y'all, you didn't want people to know you were an MT. Listen, dog. You didn't want people to know you was associated with the same human being that you Take, had taken into your home previously in life, the same individual that people were afraid to talk to you when you were around or because you were around so much. You were afraid. Y'all saw. Y'all thought something might happen. We ain't built like that. We ain't street dudes and this and that. It had to be something that made you skip that man's funeral. We ain't even want... And, and you kept it clean. He kept it plain, simple, and clean. We ain't want people to know we was associated with it. I don't sound like the dude you love. And furthermore, furthermore, he's looking for a payday. I'm going to get to the comments in a minute. Shout out to everybody rocking. He's looking for a payday. Pay attention, man. I pay attention to the subtleties that a lot of people don't, man. Where is my pen at? Let me get my pen. Let me get my pen, man. Let me see who else is in here. Shout out to DLT. What up, though? 
Let me let me not skip that comment. Shorty Pop had big love for Al Poe. Absolutely. He maintains that he, he his, him and and see this is this is another reason you can call Cap in what he said. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Did he mention that he knew Wayne? Because I could swear I heard him say that Pop and Wayne used to tell him that they was gonna pop Poe's head off. Did he mention that he knew Wayne personally? That's what I want to know. Go back and listen closely. He said, man, 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 Pop and Wayne used to tell me they was going to take Poe head off. Really? Really? See, he, he, you can tell he's added yeast to that story, and he's looking for a payday because of it. He said, if this thing does good, if you get a deal, it's more. Why would he say that? If you get a deal... I mean, God, that guy has 11,000 subs. That's a decent amount of subs. But a deal? What kind of, what, what did he, how much did you pay that individual to say those things? Is what I want to ask that man on that other channel. How much money did you pay that man to say those things? Now, that doesn't mean that you paid him to say certain things. It just means that you paid him to speak and to speak the way he did fluently. Now, We've all heard the cap. I haven't heard anyone call it cap, but goddamn, he says, man, if this thing does good, if you can get a deal, it's more. It's a lot of information I'm holding. So he's holding back for a payday. Now ask yourself why. After all this time, after all these years, a lot of people have asked me about Shelby. A lot of people have asked me to do shorty pop. Listen. There's a lot of misinformation out there, just like the misinformation that MT gave you guys in that video saying that Blake was killed on Alpo's orders. That's cap. That's cap, but it's what a lot of people wanted to hear. It is, it is definitely what a bunch of people wanted to hear. It is definitely one of the reasons that video is almost at 200,000 views. You think how that works? He even said something to the sort in the video, like, man, they're they going to go crazy because I gave you that. Or because you made that up. See, it's one and the same if you ask me. When nobody else can verify the information that you're speaking about, and then certain information that you speak about is uh, pretty iffy. <laughs> it's pretty iffy. That's all I can say, man. What up, though, DLT? We have the Malcolm S glasses back on straight knowledge moving forward. Absolutely. We ain't playing with it. You can't play. How you do? Pretty according to Sandra. I appreciate you popping on Rocky. I was wondering if they was talking about your channel when they said that they censored it out. You absolutely, it's an absolute fact. Who other channel would they be coming from? You feel me? Who other channel would they be coming from, DLT? Didn't he say F my channel, F them people. They don't know what they're talking about. Nigga, I heard what I heard from the horse's mouth, nigga. You giving third secondhand information, MT. And we heard you say it. I don't give second, third hand information. I give my opinion on those matters, but what I can tell you is what came directly from the goat's head. What I can play for you is what came directly from the goat's head, homeboy. What can you do? Pre present an obituary? You ain't even present that man with a good picture of you and Pop together because you're afraid of the consequences of, you're probably still afraid of the consequences of being associated with him. Similar to why you didn't go to his funeral. You know, let's get to some of the comments, man. If that's your man's pause, you showing up to his funeral regardless. regardless. What you mean, a nigga that the slept head defeat with me, homie? Sonny Black, that's why. A lot of the times, these dudes got to make it make sense for me, man. A dude that just slept head to foot with me? Huh? See, that lets you know he, he picking sides. He choosing sides. And he always choose the living or the unbeefing side. As you see what happened with Blake and him, he was mad as hell. We almost fought. Yeah, right, nigga. When you found out Pop did it, you probably asked him why. And that about it. Who knows who you had the most love for, but we know you chose Pop in that moment the same way you chose Blake's people in the moment they retaliated against Pop. Because you knew what happened then, too. You, if you listen to him, he says his ears to the street. People call him and tell him this and that and the other blocks. They spleen whoop whoop Nigga, you know who did that, too. 
you didn't love him too much. I guess y'all wasn't too cool. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. That's not soft, that's afraid. Absolutely. Thank you for the correction. Thank you for the correction, sir. I appreciate your cooperation in this such situation. Yeah, they was naked and afraid. He ain't got no guns, no protection. Pop gone. Wasn't nobody messing with him because Pop was around and it, it, it was good for him. And then it was bad for him because girls didn't even want to mess with him. And this and that and the other because he was hugged up with Pop. He said that. I don't know why these grown men stick their foot in their mouth like that. Yeah, that part was sketchy when he was talking about a deal. Absolutely, homie. Why is he talking about a deal? Why are you saucing the script up, homeboy? Why are you so? We don't need no more ragu. No more ragu home stop. Shorty Pop and Alpo. I just say RIP. Both street legends, enough said. Good comment, man. Money, what up, though? Miss ARM, hello, Ozone. Everyone in the chat, I appreciate you popping out. Gang in the building, what up, though? Hollywood, Glenwood. This is Miss Tammy, Po Life. You already know what it is. Wayne, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I know people in D.C. that still mad to this day. And what took so long? That's the thing, though. What took so long, man, Ruth? Let, let's just let's just let's just let's play as if he's telling the absolute truth and nothing but truth to help him. God, he actually had that conversation and it was said that they were going to do something to Pope. Why did it take so long? Man? They had plenty of time. They had plenty of time, man. From what I heard, there were wild or orgies and everything taking place everywhere and this and that and the other and Wayne Alpo had tested Wayne to see if he was gonna do him and this and that and the other. Man, come on man. They have plenty of opportunity, time, space, everything else. What took so long? Why didn't it happen is what I'm saying, if, if that's the case. He sat there and lied about that jawbreaker story. He just lying. <laughs> He just lying. I don't even think he know what he did in that interview. Mr. Price, what up, though? Whoever doing me, what up, though? What up, though? Too many issues. Back in the day, if Shorty Pop would have heard anyone talking bad about Alpo, Shorty Pop would kill anyone. Say that. Say that. You feel me like like people? I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like I'm not trying to completely discredit dog, but he stopped. He he say dog told. He say shorty pop tells him this weak ass nigga from New York pull up to me in the club and I'm about to blow him until he start talking about WP and this and the other blah blah. Plea like what? You manufacturing a story just like Ears the Christ. That's why he referenced Ears the Christ in that shit. He, he, he's manufacturing a story much like Ears the Christ did. What up, though, homie? Alpo was, Alpo was arrested October 1991. Shorty Pop was killed in 1992. Why are you saying that, homie? Tell me why you saying that. Here's another thing Dog said, though, that stood out to me. If this thing go off, that's one thing. I said that already. He said, or um, everybody didn't want me to talk about Shorty because they knew the information that I had was valuable. How much he paid that dude to say that? Everybody didn't want me to talk about Shorty because they knew the information I had is valuable. We keep talking about a payday. How much did he pay him to say that, dog? That's what I want to know. 
That's what I want to know, dog. He said when Ears told him he gave him that shit, he gave it to him. And I know that because he had the junkyard uh, band around there selling it. Now, he don't even know what he did right there. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what he did. He verified, in my mind, the story that I heard about Matthew Blake. Let me tell you about Blake. They want you to believe that Alpo wanted Matthew Blake to be down with his squad. And the dude refused because he was headed out of the game on some AZ shit and this and that and the other. When they didn't even sell the same product, one. We all know what Post sold. They didn't even sell the same product. That's the first thing. The second thing, Shorty Pop was already extorting Matthew Blake. Rest, God rest the dead and everything else you want to say, alhamdulillah, everything, you know what I'm saying? Listen, from my accounts of this story, Pop was already extorting him. Why did Blake die? The same reason Ears the Christ was about to. He referenced Ears, right? He brought him into this. Why did Blake die? He died for the same reason Ears the Christ was about to. Because niggas was done paying, right? Niggas got tired of uh, Shorty Pop. Every time he come around, he got his hand in his pocket and this and that and the other blase split. Whoop -de -whoop, he had done enough. Somebody had had enough. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it ended. But at the same, in the beginning, it had nothing to do. See, that's what I mean. Because he was labeled a part of the Martinez organization, whatever he did fell under Poe, right? It had to be on Poe orders that he did this and that and the other. Was it on Poe orders when he extorted ears to Christ? We're talking about the dude who Shorty Pop will come by and take his brother's clothes. Absolutely. That part even sound like some, that, that just sound crazy to me too. Absolutely. We're talking about dude. What's wrong with it? Say Shorty Pop loved Al Poe just showing the timeline. Absolutely. My man. So let's get back to that timeline again. What took him so long? Al Poe was arrested in October 1991 and Pop was still out and free doing what he does. Now the guy on the other channel, the guy on the other channel, when was Blake? Somebody tell me when Blake was, uh, when that happened to him. Do anybody know? Let me look, let me look that up. Let me look that up. Oh, that was in 89. Okay, so that could, okay, okay, 89. So you straight capping? 89, you got it, man, root right. Late 89. Okay, dig this here, though. Let's talk about this. As I was saying before, when he says, when Ears say he gave them that and this and that and the other, he gave it to him. Ears in that same interview chronicled feeling like he was being extorted by Pop. He said he was going to smash on Pop and this and that and the other when Pop got smashed on. He was going to look for him, but Pop got smashed already at the classes. That's what Ears the Christ said. That's the same thing happened to Blake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was being strong armed. You feel me? That dude says he would go strong armed folk and then bring money back to them.
word. That dude says he would go strong arm folk and then bring money back to them, make sure him and his brother and his grandmother straight and they wouldn't even go to his funeral. What type of dude we dealing with here? Don't, don't skip over that part in the world of snakes and scumbags. Don't skip over that part. What type of dude is that? You mean out of everybody he showed love, he showed all y'all love. I say that's cap, Mr. Beard. Blake got Blake killed. Who's tired of paying? He probably who he, he might have said no one once or twice. The end result was he was tired of being extorted. He didn't pay. Not he didn't want to work for him. You feel me? They blame it on Pope. I'm, the article right here says, I'm looking at the article right here or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They want to blame that on Pope. They saying his death gave the murder victim's wife uh, 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 peace at last and this and that and the other. Why? She should have been had peace. Pop did that. Now let's talk about this. Let's talk about what Pop didn't do real quick. Pop didn't kill Demencio. Don't we know that already? He said Pop killed Demencio. No, he didn't. Wasn't even there. Thomas Dozier did that. How do we skip over that? See, when you when you misinform the people with what's supposed to be an accurate account of events and make yourself look silly. It make yourself look silly and it make dudes like me look even better. I mean, good Lord. You know what I'm saying? When you misappropriate what happened or you misinform folks as to this and that or you even mix facts. I try not to mix facts. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Thomas Dozier did that. When I heard that, I said, oh, my God, man, my presence is needed. I must come home. I got to come home. I'm back. I'm tired of playing. Oh, you got to speak on Blake. Thank you. She could have had peace in 1992. Absolutely. That's an absolute fact. That's a snapple fact. You know what I'm saying? And that's no disrespect to her, as I don't mean no disrespect to her. But... The reason that happened was the same reason it was about to happen, man. Same reason if Ears didn't buy that Cadillac. Y'all remember Ears saying the nigga told him he wanted a car? He kept talking about he wanted a car, he buy me this car, nigga, this, that, and the other. Yeah, if you didn't buy that, if Ears didn't buy that car, that shit was going to happen to him too. But it just so happened that shit happened at the classics first. Let me ask you this. He didn't say he knew ears. So how he know the work that Shorty Pop distributed to the junkyard band came from ears? He didn't mention knowing Tank and Dre, but he mentioned that they was good men. And F Po for this and F Po for that. Po was a dirty this and that and the other. You feel me? That make it personal. It's some type of personal vendetta agenda here. Y'all trying to grab numbers. Y'all did a fantastic job, better. What you mean, man, Ruth? You really believe what could have happened? Yeah, Knight Rider lost credibility when he said that. Absolutely, man. Been lost it to me. Never had credibility with me. And that's not, not a knock on him or nothing. He just ain't never had no credibility with me. Like, you feel me? He got to show me something. He showed me something going to get this dude, but at the same time, he showed me something, not questioning what was being said as well. He showed me that he's still a little bit inexperienced in this game, and he just wanted the information, the tidbits. Because as a, if he's fancying himself a journalist in this realm, 
There should be fact from fiction. There should be things that you know. You should have a notepad. Shout out to the notes. Of facts and fit things that just, just flat out can't be changed. And when people change those days, dates, events, and they're not called out on it, it makes it seem a little cloud chasing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, I'm just saying. You feel me? It makes it seem a little cloud chasing. That's a snapple fact. Man, don't pay no attention to him, yo. Absolutely. He absolutely got it wrong. No, no let's see. Let's see where we at. Where we at? I, let's go back to the fact that he said Pope came up to him in the club. Pope came up to him in the club, and they was he was gonna rob and kill Pope that night. Why did he go from doing it that night to wanting to know where Pope's stash was if he didn't even know him that night? See, these are the things I think about when I hear these men talk. He said Shorty Pop told him that he was gonna rob and kill Pope that night. But Poe mentioned Wayne Perry and then the game changed. So that means that we know that's cap already, first of all. But it, let's just say that did happen. Why would it change the game? He said it wasn't getting paid. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying, man, Ruth. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Poe would have had a cop to that. That's a D.C. murder. That's a D.C. homicide. That's not, man, Blake don't appear. Show him to, show him, tell him to show where it says that Poe killed Blake, Pop killed Blake even, because Pop appears in the paperwork very minimally. He appears about three times, but he appears very minimally. You'll see more in an article about what he's done in the past than what you'll see in the paperwork because there's a lot of accusations that were never verified. There was a lot of, he was supposed to pop a bunch of people, but they couldn't kill, I mean, they couldn't connect him to him for whatever reason. You feel me? This is what I will say. Let's not talk about how Poe met Wayne Perry. Let's talk about how Poe met Shorty Pop. How did Poe meet Shorty Pop? Anybody know that? Pop and Wayne, they was, what do you say? Pop and Wayne, they was telling me they was about to smash on, on Shorty. That's what that's a direct quote from what Dog said in that video. Pop and Wayne, they was telling me they was about to smash on Shorty. That's Cap. What took so long? That's Cap. He said they was trying to get Pope, they was trying to get Pop to kill Jawbreaker, but he was like, no, because he fucked with Jawbreaker a little bit. That's the reason nothing happened to Jawbreaker. Uh, uh, when he when Alpo tried to take over his hood, and yada yada yada, cap, cap. That was MJ that did that. That was Michael Jackson that blocked that play. That's because that was Michael Jackson's play in the first place. When Jawbreaker and them attempted to kidnap and rob Poe, they were doing that under Jawbreaker's orders. That's his little man, right underneath Wayne Perry's nose, his other man. You get where I'm coming from? 
So when Wayne, when Alpo wants vengeance for this act, MJ tells Wayne, "Nah, we can't do that. No, nah, we can't do that. That's my little man's and them and this and that and the other. I ain't buying it. We can't do that. Really? That's my little man's and them. We can't do that. Blase Splee so Paul said him and little Gary went here and hunt. Come on, man. You can't change history, man. I believe Shorty Pop turned Alpo on to WP. I do too. But what I'm saying is, man, Ruth, who turned Alpo on to Shorty Pop? Say so everybody respected Kurt Bone, so I don't know if I believe that Pop wanted to get at Alpo. Kurt Bone sent Alpo to Shorty Pop. I skip right up DLT, you on point. I will say this too. I will say some women came into play that was supposed to have something to do with something. I ain't going to say their name. How can he discredit Shorty Pop's son on what he knew or don't know about his father? That part was crazy to me, too. You know what? I wasn't going to say nothing about that. But you're right. You know what I'm saying? He probably well versed in his father's accolades, at least at this point, from numerous family members that did or did not deal with his father. You know what I'm saying? So you're absolutely right. But I think I think at that point, he was basically more speaking from a standpoint of all the negativity that's heard because he did say, I want to let him know what a good father his man, what a good father, good man he had as a father. So to me, that said, OK, he must be speaking about all the negative things that are said out here in regards to Shorty Pop or what not the type of individual he was like that. But I dig where you coming from, homie, because I felt the same way. Like I said, I had to watch it twice. He capped and he didn't align himself with Pop's son. He just grew up with Pop outside of the streets, not even a worker. A civilian friend, Roy Cobb, wasn't letting nothing happen to Pope. That was his friend. No, which one was it? I think, I think it was Ray. Ray, the one, the one that wound up in a wheelchair. The, the one that was making a lot of money. One of them was known for the gangster gangster, and one was known for, you know what I'm saying, making a lot of money is, is the general consensus of what I heard. And I think that was Ray, the one that wound up in a wheelchair. That was Poe's home. And that's another reason the play was done through Michael Jackson underneath everybody's nose. Like I've been told, y'all, Michael Jackson, a puppet master. The real puppet master, Michael Jackson, had a little plan in play. Poe got in good with DC dudes early. Roy, Kurt, Poe was even tight with the fat Rodney at first word. Dudes couldn't just go at Poe. He played chess, absolutely. My cheating keep going up. Let me see what else I've got. 
After that, he said their plans was always to get Pope. See, when he say stuff like that, I'm like, why it didn't happen? They got everybody else. They got everybody else according to even they even got people with, they putting people on them saying they got them or whatnot according over Alpo. Or Alpo made them do this, that, and the other. They even put Blake on them. So I'm saying if they got everybody else, why wouldn't they get Pope? If they could go get everybody else in town, they could that would have been easy, right? It don't make sense. He said, Pop killed Blake, and then he went and robbed Blake's store, get fresh, what is it, fresh gear? Went to the classics, and then he said, he said that Pop was kept looking back the whole time. See, that's that second, third-hand information. Who said that Pop kept looking back the whole time? I mean, you wasn't there. You don't know what happened. I mean, you heard that he did this and then did that, and then that happened. That's not first-hand account of, of information. So how accurate is it? after it's been passed down from here to there to there. You just have to ask yourself. Well, those are questions I ask myself. No, not them, no, no, no. No, ma'am. Women still alive. Two of them. I figured you meant that. Lady T, what up, though? All is well, my way. I hope all well yours, too. Kurt Bone said Alpo came to see him in jail and needed some hitters because dudes was trying to get at him. And BD and Kurt Bone sent him to Pop. For all we know, Pop was already expecting Poe to come to approach him. He may have Kurt Bone before Poe approached him and knew it was coming. You could be right. Yeah, I saw that. We discussed that in the beginning. And it wasn't really Night Rider. I'm not going to give him. The, it wasn't him. It was the dude he was speaking to. Because dig this here. At least he had the respect to blur my name out. For whatever reason he did, he blurred my name when he said it. Dude went off the handle talking about F this, F that. All he said was that might there must have been people coming from that other channel, this, that, and the other. Now, if he said anything other than what my channel name up for debate, Ozone O, whatever, if he said anything other than that, he blurred for whatever reason. Oh boy flew off the handle. See, the one thing they don't understand is I don't know if they trying to discredit me or whatever, but the one thing you wouldn't be doing is discrediting me. You'd be trying to discredit Poe. And that ain't worked yet. That ain't worked yet. We all know, Dan, that everything Poe said had been accurate from the moment he started talking, before he even started talking to me. So what was the, really the point of bringing up those, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Lady T. I haven't, I wasn't looking for it. You know what I'm saying? I've been engaged in other activities, to say the least. WP and Alpo stayed in hotel rooms together, hiding out from the law every night. And that's what I'm saying. They had plenty of space, time, and opportunity. So if that was the agenda, I don't understand why it didn't happen. And then you have different people say Karen and Kim had a hand in guiding him towards Shorty Pop. That's something that I've heard. You feel me? That's why I said 
in the beginning of this that there's a lot of information and there's a lot of misinformation in regards to the whole shorty pop story so i stayed away from it in its entirety as a whole except for how it applied to Pope and wp in different ways you feel me they asked him for a story so much he wouldn't create one you feel me he got a creative player with him he playing 2k over there <laughs> you feel me Pardon so. Yo. The time is now, man. The Morgan Maurice Collection is the brand of the future, man. Handcrafted one by one in Italy. You heard me? We got the commencement, them joints 194. We got the D-Boy 1 in white, that's 237. We got the D-Boy 2 in black, that's 217. Get yours, man. Go ahead and shop now, man. The finest Italian leather, the finest Italian suede and cotton you can get made right in Shoe Valley. I came in front, man. These right here, I didn't have these on my feet all oh, yet. Yeah. These my favorite, that black on black crocodile print. Man, Morgan Maurice is the future. It is the brand of right now. Get with us, man, or get left out. Peace. So right at the end of this, because I'm coming to the end of my broadcast, I ain't gonna spend too much time on that. You feel me? Right at the end of this, he draws a narrative of Shorty Pop was already turned out by his mother. He say Shorty Pop was turned out by his mother. WP didn't do that. He just enhanced it. That put me straight in the main, in the frame of mind, a dog member in the mayor of Harlem talking about Randy Love and Alpo. Go to the end of that Night Rider thing or whatnot. Dog was like, Wayne Perry, I'm not Wayne Perry. He said Shorty Pop was already like that. Wayne Perry didn't turn him into that. He just enhanced it. That sounded just like the what Dog them said in, like I said, the Mayor Harlem or whatnot about Randy Love putting that beast in Pope. He's big O, NC in the building, keep giving the haters the side of treatment. They only get noticed by down talking you and Alpo, making them maggots get their own views. Oh, they would not <laughs> last. What's up, though? I appreciate you, homie. No, I had to speak on this because the nigga play. You heard what he said. If you didn't hear what he said, you feel me? He used obscenities in regards to me and my crowd, man. Me and you, homie. He ain't gonna be able to do that. I ain't gonna be able to stand for that. If he didn't know, now you know. Watch your mouth, no dissing me. Let me see. Lady T has said something on uh, Redhead Joy was hating too. I had to unsubscribe from him. I ain't heard from him in a minute, nor have I been looking to. Like I said, I've been engaged in other activities. I let them have this world and they can't stop talking about me. Ain't that something? This is Miss Tammy. I let them have this world and they can't stop talking about me. They got a bounce pulling ears, got the most accurate words. Mr. Miller, what up, though? Peace, God. How you be? But yeah, that's the end of that, dog. You believe what you want. I said what I said. He said they, they said some other stuff over there I need to take a look at, and I think I might. But like I told y'all before, I got a fire interview coming tomorrow. Make sure you tune in, man. You're going to want to see this spiel. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul. 
See, that's what I'm saying, man. Moment of silence for the real. You already know what it is if you don't read the screen, man. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. I'm sorry you came at the end of the broadcast, Lord, but I'm about to get out of here, man. Peace to all the gods, the herbs, man. Salute to everybody that came through, whether it was love or hate. It was an occasion, you heard? Till next time. Get with me at 8 30 tomorrow. You're going to want to see it. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I love it. Hey, what's going on? What you need? What you need? What you need for me right now? Um, do me something like, can you say like, like, th yo, uh, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with, oh, no, I'm tapped in with Up For Debate TV. Just something like, like, like that. Nothing big. You okay, know? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm just asking you what you want me to say. This is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man. Yes, up sir. Up For Debate TV. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not, that's, that's, that's easy and it's true. Go ahead, let's go. All right, go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right. All right, all right. Yo, this is Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man, Up For Debate TV, all day I fuck with him. Yes, sir, I appreciate you for that one. Yeah. We good? Yes, sir. All day, all day love. All right, Detroit, just hit me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule right at 3 o'clock. As soon as he get out of school, you killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. And yeah, they know I'm bound to and I put that on God. And when I saw Tawana start crying, shit, I cried too Cause then I knew it was real, that was your boo And I ain't fuck with them other niggas, but they cried too I wore black like a whole 30 days I slept in niggas' bushes, I fed niggas' caves Ask Satan for the power and the rage to kill the right nigga Shot up a couple houses, a couple twice, nigga Supposed to been at your wedding, what you threw some rice, nigga But now nah, it's snake eyes like I threw some dice, nigga I lost you, how the fuck I'm supposed to take this shit Without a real target, how I'm supposed to take this hit now everybody get lit it's a green light i sent a couple cowards to you blood take they ass to life god i hope i killed you nigga and if i didn't know it still do nigga yeah you took my right hand man you took my nigga five now everybody had a problem with him's homicide bitch i don't care if you did it or not you gotta die i know my nigga he with me he riding from the sky now i'ma let this man hit you and rip through your bone tissue bitch and if you still breathing you know i'm still coming get you nigga and I ain't going, he trying to set me up and he don't think a nigga know it Animosity show it through his words, how he spoke it Steady asking where I'm at, he trying to send him hit a smoking Bitch nigga, I hit niggas for that same motherfucker When niggas needed a friend, I treated him like a brother When niggas was on your ass, bitch I had your back covered Then the envy kicked in, jealous coward motherfucker This 